huge. Now, you mentioned the idea of passion. And um, there's a phrase that I'm sort of a little bit sceptical about, about the idea that people have a passion for their PhD, because I hear it all over the place. And I, I, I'd sometimes wonder whether all of these people really do have a passion for things. But I also, because it's become a cliche, because people say, oh, it's very important to have a passion for you. I sort of start to wonder what, what what does that actually mean now in your case what did you find having a passion for your phd meant in in real experience sure uh so i think it's really comes down to what is a phd in terms of a role is it play in your own life uh from experience i i found that phd students usually uh, fall into one of two camps definitely there are varieties within each camp and there might be more camps but like roughly speaking there are those who go for a phd because it's a bridge towards a bigger yeah. goal something that they have always aspired for whether that's a dream job in the business uh, community mm-hmm. nonprofit, or an academic job becoming a scholar or professor uh so for them a phd is just the next uh, expected step. I finished my undergrad, I have started, yeah. um, I started my master, PhD, maybe postdoc, etc. Uh, so they don't think of it as something as a standalone piece or something that they uh, are willing to invest maybe um, solely in it. They are always thinking of the next step. And that's, I, I really admire these people who have this fortunate uh, kind of clear mindset from a very early age. Sometimes from college they have it. So um, yeah, chapeau for these people. Other people like myself are more um, kind of they go with the flow, I would say. Uh, it's a more of um, a flexible and spontaneous experience. So, I, for example, I only applied for my master when I was at the last year of my, my undergrad because I, bec- I just realized how passionate but again, passion, how in love yeah. I was with the, with the field of politics and um, security studies, Middle Eastern studies. And I just wanted to learn more. So it was more for me, the master's degree was more of a learning journey rather than a step towards a career. Uh, and the same goes for the PhD. I, the first time I actually found kind of it became cre- clear in my mind, these two camps were in one I was in my master's degree. And I found so many, many people from the first few weeks we are in the master's degree they are already applying for PhDs and uh, asking each other, have you applied? Are you, the deadline is approaching. I was like, we just started my, ma- I just started my master's degree. How come I should worry about my PhD? And not, you know, and they don't, not, they don't even like take seriously or not to put it differently. They make it feel very easy, the PhD application process. While for me, it's, it's completely the opposite for to apply to make a good application for a PhD, you need to invest lots of time, yeah, uh, lots yeah. of um, to learn a new topic, to know what you want to research for three to four years of your life. This is not yes. a small time period. So for me, I was like, you know what? I just want to enjoy my, my, my master. Yeah. And I want to learn. I came here to learn. I took these courses particularly to learn particular, to get particular knowledge. And I still haven't even thought about what I want to do for my master thesis. Yes, so yes. I would just try to find that out first. And then after I finished my master, it took me two years to develop a passion and to not necessarily, again, the v- passion here is more like you, something that caught your attention and you start witnessing yourself following it closely. Uh-huh again and again and again, becoming like more attached. So it, it's an attachment, yeah. intellectual attachment to a subject. And then you want to feel like, as if the doors have closed and you want to open them again. I want to learn again. And there is no more in the news or no more in the people around you who can teach you about that topic. So you went to so kind of dig into a PhD degree where you have lots of people who are maybe in your field or in a kind of uh, joint fields who can help you advance and you you become person you become your personal expert in this in this topic so so in short i think it's it's really passion is about motivation and inspiration it it comes more uh, kind of in the front for some people than others but it this it doesn't really change the outcome per se. I would say it changed the process, how much you enjoy your, your topic and how much you, you, you are attached to it and how much you progress maybe after your PhD. But do you, but for the outcome, hopefully everyone will get their PhD at the end. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. I think I think your phraseology there, uh, you talked about witnessing yourself developing an attachment. I think that's a great way of articulating it. 